day 13 good morning it is cold 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 out here uh, it's like 5 30 i've just been sitting in here shivering just waiting for the sun to come up i am not going out there unless i have to i am slowly brewing a cup of coffee and dreaming of warmer places we only have like, I don't know, less than 20 miles to go till town, and tomorrow night I have a bed, an actual bed. Dude, my back hurts, man. Sleeping on this little piece of foam sucks. Ugh. Hmm. Anyway, we're making coffee and stuff. Hopefully that <laughs> hits the spot. Warms me up a little bit. But yeah, I'm probably going to sit in here until the sun actually comes up. Burr. Guess we don't need a headlamp anymore. The sun is coming up out there. It's definitely much, much lighter. It's definitely not up yet. It's 24 degrees, but it feels like 19, it says. Uh, at least the wind isn't blowing. I'll, I'll take that as a wind. Ah, I didn't even mean to say that. <laughs> I'll take that as a wind. Mm. Uh, tomorrow will be a much better day. Tonight's supposed to be cold. Very uncomfortable. Well, we'll see where I find a crash out. I assume it's just going to be on the ground on the side of the road under some trees. I'm hoping that there's, you know, forest on the way into this town. I'm assuming there is because there's forest everywhere. So, yeah, that, that is the game plan. I don't want to park my ass too far from town or too close, but it's kind of hard, man. There's, you know, not many options in between. But, of course, we'll figure it out. I'm going to slowly pack my stuff up and hope the fireball comes out by then. But I'm not leaving till it's burning. Oh, I left my camera out all night. I had it on time lapse to catch the there it is. To catch the sunset if there was one. But I was too lazy to go out and get it. And I'm like, eh, I'm gonna be charging batteries tomorrow. This size of that pole. Boom. Thing's a beast. But it doesn't weigh anything. I can put this camera super far out there. I just haven't found anything fun to film with it yet. But I mean, I look around, you know. <sighs> when I look at the clips of my day when I'm putting them in my movie maker, it's all just brown leaves. That's all, that's, you know, because it just picks a certain part of the video to use as the still for it. But it's all just this over and over over and over over and over i'm like man my days all look the same <sighs> mostly packed up but not all the way <sighs> that does feel kind of nice <sighs> damn my fingers just hurt standing here stupid cold hopefully this is the last freeze that's that's what i'm really hoping for man because i'm gonna get rid of my uh hiking puffy it does not do me much good anymore. My Amazon hoodie does the same function, performs the same function and more. It's more versatile, so I don't think I need both. I'm going to get rid of that. I think I'm just going to get rid of the hammock. I don't really need a bivy. It's not like I'm dealing with bugs yet or anything. And I should have uh, that hammock here in, you know, hopefully less than two weeks. But why carry around a wrecked hammock if you don't need it? It's nice to see the Kilroy still making the rounds, although he used to have hands back in the day. I haven't seen a Kilroy in, I don't know, it's been a decade or more, it feels like. Well, hell, man, I left my water filter in the foot of my sleeping bag, and that's the first thing I pack in. I don't feel like unpacking it right now, so I'm just going to pack it whenever I have to filter water. Bah! Bah, that's the problem with sleeping with it. doing things differently than you normally do. Like you don't put your glasses somewhere like, oh, that's a really cool spot. Like on that bush, it holds them just like, it, no, because you'll forget them there because it's not how you normally do things. And I don't normally have to worry about freezing. So I don't normally throw my filter in my foot. I mean, normally when in a tent, I just sleep with it next to my body, and I'm like, that's good enough. It doesn't freeze in the general area around me. It didn't even freeze last night. I mean, it got below freezing, but, you know, none of my water bottles had any ice going on them whatsoever. So, you know, it's not that kind of freezing. It's just cold as fuck. But, yeah, regardless, I have to unpack everything 
Yeah, so it doesn't have a bottom axis. I was like, oh yeah, don't they have bottom accesses? But that's an Osprey that does. Anyway, it's in a plastic bag, so it wouldn't help me out. Eh, it's what it is. And we're off. Birds sound like they're having like a little laser fight. Pew, pew, pew. One black diamond. Does black diamond have multiple meanings? I thought it was like a scary part of a ski slope. I don't ski, but that's the only place that I've ever seen them. Oh, it's getting much more tolerable out here. My fingers have stopped hurting. My face still feels kind of numb, but yeah. I'm not in pain, that's the most important part. Which, yeah, I think that calls for a celebration of safety. <laughs> yeah, my fingers work. I did have a small little wake and bake, but well, nothing since I've been on trail. And I got plenty of snacks today, so that's nice. I didn't eat all of them from yesterday, just trying to conserve. I also have tuna today. See, I'll go into town with food on my back, man. Well, it's not food. Most of it will be kind of in the candy variety of food. But it's calories. Oh, big step. I don't know why I just checked my map because there's clearly a sign in front of me that says Pinhoti Trail. But you know what? I didn't even register that it has a tiny little arrow to the right. I am not supposed to go up in here, even though it looks like a clearly defined path going in. I'm supposed to take the road. Huh. I would have kept going straight. I guess as a lot of people do, and then they realize, you know, 50 yards in or tops, you know. <laughs> like, hey, there's not a trail anymore. What's going on here? I didn't even have to do that. For some reason, I looked at the map. I was looking for water is mostly what it is. But right then and there, of all places, I saved myself a little, a little journey into the brush. Passed up my turn somewhere in here. Now I'm backtracking. Not by much. Just didn't see it. I know everything looks the same. It's all burned and such, but you know, still I should have been looking. I got a little distracted. Plus, I am looking directly into the sunlight. Yeah, that's my excuse, officer. I was looking in the sunlight. That's why my eyes are all red. Allergies. Oh, hey, here we go. Now, there was this sign, but I wasn't looking over there, I was looking over here. I should have known by the wear marks on the embankment, but there is a trail going up in here. This is a super fresh fall from, you know, being dead and having its base charred, but right across the trail. But totally big enough opening, I just kind of walked up that one onto this one and just walked my happy ass over to here. There's not even a trail going around it yet. It's so fresh. It's got to be somebody's footprints. I'm not the first. But maybe I am. I'd say they burned this a little while ago. Look, there's green shoots coming out everywhere. It's not as fresh as the smoldering ones. Still curious how long those things smolder for. I don't know the date they lit that. 
if it rained, you know, the whole seven inches. So I'd like to think it was after that. But what if all that smoldering is, is, is what survived the seven inches of rain? Impressive. Strange metal box. No obvious trail leading to it. I think there's a road up there. Huh. You can get inside of it. I can see the door-ish thing is open. Anybody home? I'm curious. I see where there's been fires made outside to keep somebody warm. Sad that this is what somebody has to resort to to keep warm. We also had at least one beer. That's the only one that's not burned. And yeah, there is a road right here. I could have been on the road the whole time. Alright, back to the trail. Curiosity, you know. See some sort of deck? I don't know if that's private property or what. Is that a bridge? Oh, it's a bridge. And I see a blue blaze. Ruby. Does not look safe. Oh, I didn't see any handrails from the other side. But there is, for some of it, a wire handrail. Oh, chicken wire for traction. Don't worry, it's securely stapled. You won't snag on it, trip and fall. Look how loose this is. The bridge is pretty solid. It's not all bouncy and stuff. It's not very straight though. See all the angles going on, on that? Like this is at one angle. This next section is actually tilted off angle like that. Kind of gets worse as it goes down the way. Uh, right side is definitely higher than left, but you can tell somebody's done re maintenance on it by the boards. Just built funky. But better than nothing, because I'd have had to get my tootsies wet. Oh, you can see the pylons from an old bridge. Or, yeah, I'm guessing that's what it is. See those there? There's some laying in the water. So I thought they were logs at first. But now those are made of concrete.
I was debating getting water here, but I looked at the map and there's a shelter in point six that has a stream that is supposedly flowing, although it is very old. All the comments are, but they all say that it's flowing, so I'm hoping it's one of those things that's just usually flowing. Little bridge. I did not expect to find concrete tubes this far up. What's that all about? Buried one. Is that where I slept was Davis Mountain? That was only three miles ago. Shouldn't have looked at that. It felt like way more than three. Feel disappointed now. Can't miss this one. From where I'm standing, I can see six blazed trees. Seven if you count that hiker sign up there. But they're even all the way back in hunts. I see a lot of blue. Can't miss this. Oh, there's some big move back there. It's a deer. It's totally a deer. Doesn't know I'm here. Get excited to see a deer. I'm like we don't see much much movement. Like something is moving. Okay, let's get that shelter so I can do a wardrobe change. It's getting hot. That is a really big tree. That will be coming down when they do a burn in the area. Look at that. The base is hollow as all hell. How is it supporting all this weight? Crazy. Yeah. That thing, that thing does not have long to stand. I'd like to see it when it goes down, though. I've never seen a tree that size just fall. But it's loud, the ground shakes. I'd pay a dollar to see that. Digging the reddish dirt. Pink, whatever. Blue blazes, this is my way. Mona Francis Lake. That's what I'm going with. Cow pond. Okay, I definitely did not see this in the brochure. Cables coming from this poor tree. You can see them cutting in too. Holding the ladder in place. The ladder's got blue on it, so that's where I head. I appreciate there being a ladder. I guess we did this thing back in the day. That's new. I thought there'd be more when we got to the other side of these rocks, but no, that's the whole sad lake right there. It is just a cow pond. This little stream is feeding it. But I guess it's leaking out somewhere around the corner because it's not filling up. Aha, uh -huh. I see the shelter. This one looks different. The same cookie cutter ones. Might even have a porch going on. It's definitely up higher off the ground. Oh, great little waterfall right here to collect from. 
Look at that. Little bridge leading to it. This is nice. There's even like comfortable chairs in here. And that's level. It's been leveled out with bricks, it looks like. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Cooking utensils in case I brought food that could be cooked. Seasonings and snacks, it says. I only see seasonings through there. But I will look a little bit because I like snacks. And every single shelter has come equipped with a Bible. Looks like garbage. Yeah. Good times. I'm going to stop here for a moment. Enjoy a chair. Oh, yeah, only 239 till Springer Mountain. We're almost there. And we're off. And I saw this and you thought I was leaving, but no, I was really leaving. Now I'm leaving. I sat there for a good hour, uh, filtering water, cat holing, and doing some video stuff. That, you know, I, it was a long process of the video stuff. And once I start it, I don't want to accidentally push a button and cancel it, you know, by putting it in my pocket. Because I actually think I'm having a problem with putting my phone in my pocket. I think it's turning on, like my thigh through the pocket is turning on. So I think I need to pad the pocket a little bit so it doesn't touch me. Because we're not even into like sweaty Virginia yet. If my mildly clammy thigh is enough to activate a phone, my sweaty ass thigh totally will. I need to do something about that. No, I just noticed my battery was dying a lot. And quite often when I pulled my phone out, um, it was on. And then I started noticing when I'm making my videos, that there's these weird blurry videos. And yeah, it's turning on and it's taking photos and videos in my pocket. It even stitched together a little thing. It pushed the proper buttons to make a little animated thing of my pocket. Oh, kind of crazy. <laughs> what goes on in my pocket? Guess this was once a campsite. You still could, but she seems to be a little rotten. But, you know, I bet it was pretty badass back in the day. Just needs a little love. Truth be told, I'm not digging this skinny angled trail. It's, it's a pretty steep curve on the way down. And the trail itself is at an angle too. Which freaks me out a little bit. Makes me pucker. Like I'm very aware of every step, which makes me fumble more often, I swear. You can tell by the marks in the mud that these ruts were dug out by tires. I've never owned anything that could 
handle a road like this, and this road's low level for any any average Jeep. <laughs> Just don't get stuck in the rut. And go. Ah, we made it. That's a pretty big rut, man. Hey, carry on. And what is this? Yeah. Frustrating being curious. Um, it's one of those geocaches. It's pretty much where you hide garbage in the woods and other people bring garbage to hide in the woods. And normally I take these out and throw them away. I find them here and there. But since I'm in the south and there's freaking garbage everywhere, I'm just leaving it where it is, man. Have fun leaving more garbage in this garbage if you want to leave some garbage in some garbage. Have at it. If you like just on the walk back from that little thing, there's a water bottle right there under the tree. There's a water bottle right there on the trail. And this is the stuff that's on top of the leaves. But if we kicked around the leaves a bit, we'd find hella more. Of course, there's some beer cans. Yeah, another beer can. Twisted tea. I enjoy those. Oh, yeah. Coca-Cola can. Yeah, it's itself. It's full of freaking garbage. Nice view. Kind of more or less. Only view. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, you, you got it there. Only view. What do we got going on here? They're building something over here. Heavy machinery. Bunch of flat earth. I don't know. Oh, more beer cans. Oh, more beer cans. Yeah. Doesn't look like this in Michigan. Just saying. One heck of a road, man. That's enhance again. Up and over. That's for some of the more badass toys. Glad I'm not on the road, man. This is one of those odd instances where the trail is much smoother than the road. Not often is the case. Even just crossing this road on foot is kind of treacherous. Look at the angle of that thing. Even where it's smooth, my car couldn't make it up this no way no day. It's just too much. I'm going this way, man. <laughs> That's more my feet want to do either. I have these named assuming locals or the the club that drives their jeeps here, but this one is God's Path and Huts. I see smoke. Quite a bit of it too. Yeah, it shows up. And Huts. I don't smell it, but I definitely see it. Or maybe I'm not, maybe it's water and I'm seeing it as smoke. Oh, it could tell it be water. Who knows? I guess I'll find out when I get a little higher and look down. 
Yeah, it was totally a reflection of the gray sky in the water. That'll do it to you. There's a smoke, there's a, but it doesn't seem to be rising. But it looks smoky. Ooh, I need to stop and have lunch soon. It is about that time. Well, two things. First, that looks like a great spot to have lunch. Look at that, it's a little stool. So you go, oh, there's some smoke. And hunts. Yeah. So when it's controlled burn, prescribed. Yeah, I get to walk through it. It is interesting. As long as I don't get you know, hurt or killed, I'm cool with it. Figure while it's not cold and the sun is shining, I might as well get some vitamin D on my wide ass body. Unfortunately, I'm reflecting most of the rays back out, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. Actually feels pretty nice right now. Just gonna enjoy it. Yeah, let's have that tuna packet I've been saving. I'm kind of excited for it. Tuna packet, yeah. Well, that was a nice little lunch spot. I enjoyed it. No wind, no nothing, man. Just chilling up here. It's kind of nice. Especially with how cold the day started. There's a shelter in like three and a half miles. I'm probably gonna take another break there. Filter some water, all that fun stuff. Wonder when the last time that thing saw a flag was. Nobody wants to drag one all the way up here. Or hell, there might just be people who live at the bottom of the hill, but yeah, it's a lot of work. See a nice big cross too. I did not expect to see a like, full-size city garbage can. And, hey, there might be flags in that box. There's a big box over there. Huh. Why just across? Many religions in the area, I'm assuming. Ooh. Did not notice that. Uh, okay, there's spiders all around me. One there. Two in that direction, big ones. I feel like that's where I came from. I was down on these, followed those around, zing it, zing, zing, zoom. Yep. Let's see what's in this box. Alright, so there is a flag, not folded at all, and it looks like a big one too, and stars are the size of my freaking head. If there are all 50, that's a big flag. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, I see some blue blazes. Dead end. Maybe for those of you who had to drive here. Whole lot of poo right in the beginning, man. There's just toilet paper all over the place. Yeah. Somebody brought a board 
a hammer and nails. But I don't understand why. What is the purpose? I don't know why you'd need a board nailed to that tree. There's the flag hanging. This is higher than that other flagpole, so it would be more valid. It counts more. <laughs> this rock is pretty much how I imagine Pennsylvania being, except there's dirt all the way up to like right there. Just that fin is hanging out all over the place. But it's like the iceberg. Underneath is just mammoth rock, but just that's hanging out all over the place. Stupid sideways rocks. Don't they know they're supposed to lay on the flat side? Did nobody teach you how to rock? These guys know how to rock. But not you so much. Give it the program, buddy. It's almost like every hill has its own spine. Oh, we got some more flags flying up here. Full size ones. Looks like two of them, state and country. Yep. Is that like a, a border? Am I leaving state or something? Going into a new one? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, all the red, white, and blue I was seeing was not the, the, the American flag. One of them is the Georgia flag. All right. I'm assuming this one, but why is it on this side? Yeah, because that is the uh, Alabama one. All right, look at me, crossing state lines. Dun, 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 dun. I'm up here to pee. I saw this guy, he thinks he's invisible. I'm bothering to be brown. Oh yeah, he's turning brown. <laughs> Look at him change before our eyes. Bright green a minute ago. Still got some spots. Look, <laughs> dude, I totally blend. Groovy, man, groovy. <clears throat> you have a good day, buddy. These chameleons are everywhere. It's hard to see it because it's cleverly disguised. But there is a shelter down there. Oh, look at the porch on this one. This is the one you want to be in in a rainstorm. Nice. Two thousand and eight. Nice. Oh my God, he's writing this in every shelter. This is the third one in a row. Like it's deep or something. He's like, man, that is just so deep. Everybody needs to know. And not far from the front of the shelter is a great water supply. I couldn't see it. I was like, fuck, I don't remember passing anything on the way in. Looking around, I was like, I don't see any clues, man. So I just started walking. Figured, you know, they're long. I'll run into it. 
And so I did. Well, I have been slacking. It is 3.30 and I've only gone 10 miles. Man, that's pretty pathetic. I, didn't really, I knew I was going slow, but damn. So I still have another nine to go before I get into town. Not that I'm planning on getting there tonight. According to what I've read, the last water is in another three miles. So that means a good six miles or so without water, plus dry camping. So that's a decent amount of water. Don't know where I'm camping at. That'll kind of figure out. Maybe I'll camp near the water. And then that'll give me like a seven mile walk into town. Even though I'm getting a room, it's not like those things are ready until 11 or so. I just want to get in for breakfast. Not that I know there's a breakfast, I just assume that there's a breakfast. There should be one in every town. What's the point of having a town if there's no diner? All right, so, filtering water now. We'll walk another three miles and just pick up as much as we can and then wander till I can find somewhere I feel safe throwing down a tarp. Skies are clear, there's no real wind, it doesn't feel super cold like it did yesterday at this time, so tonight should be a much better night than last night. Last night was kind of rough. Wasn't hell by any means, but it was kind of rough. This shelter's days are numbers. Its foundation is weak as hell. I mean, these ones are sliding at angles. That one has a super huge crack going all the way up through it. And that's those ones, come on, those are at angles, barely even touching. And I haven't even looked at the backside, so yeah, I don't expect too much more of this. One of them is going to collapse, the other ones are going to go, this whole thing's going to separate. There'll be people in here sleeping, they'll be fine. They'll just be scared, but they won't get hurt. That is the widest blaze I have seen thus far. Now I wonder if they painted it when it was young and it just spread out. What I'm guessing... Why did they just want to paint four bars? Artistic flair. I gotta say, the blazes are kind of a mess around here. Two different shades of blue and just all exploded. What are these things? Fucking Picasso's? Is that a new shade? Like deep navy maybe? Wonder how well it stands out in the night. Doubt I'll be hiking in the dark though. If it's anywhere near as cold as it was this morning. Hell no. Plus, of course, I'm laying somewhere totally exposed and it sucks laying there. And yeah, you might as well get out and hike. But if you're too early to town, you gotta wait around anyway for breakfast. I'll find somewhere out of the wind and not look like a criminal. I'm dressed as Batman in the dark. What have we here? Another cross in the woods. This one has like a Hispanic flair just with all the bright colors going on. This is to mark where somebody is dead or... I don't know. Oh, those are all torn up bandanas. Huh. Well, I asked and they didn't seem to mind, so... I took them. I like them. Yeah, I took one to decorate my, my staff with. Trucking pole, whatever. <laughs> they weren't made out of bandanas. Just something about them being made out of bandanas made me like them all the more. And it's just garbage up here riding in the woods.
Oh, I didn't know this was divided into sections. There's other trails like that too. I bet a lot of trails are, I just don't realize it. But everything's to the left. All the layers of the, is there nothing to the right? I'm headed to oblivion. I did read in the comments that after this road that the blazes turned to white, but did not mention their size. Ooh. I hope they stay like that. <laughs> Easy to find. I'm guessing from here on out I have to share the trail. It's only been hikers so far, but at this point on I guess it changes. At least according to that sign. Random. All the vines seem to be waking up in this area. There's a few different kinds, just judging by the, the vine itself. One of them's all hairy and like grows to the tree. The other ones look like skinny trees growing next to the tree. Like these guys. I am in a swamp. It took me a minute to realize my God, all the hanging vines, a bunch of standing water. Gotta keep my eye out for snakes. All right, look at all that standing water. I imagine this is mosquito hell a month from now. Everywhere. There are gators in this man. This swamp have gators. Guess an old bridge came through here. Concrete pylons. Huge beam of wood. That is a huge beam of wood. I don't believe it's connected to this thing at all. Just by angle and whatnot, maybe. I need another one. I want to get mud on my shoes. Hey, look at there, genuine beaver dam. I haven't seen a whole lot of them in my life. I had to cross on one somewhere in Yellowstone, I think it was. It's convenient to do a water crossing on. It held my weight and everything. Weird enough, there were stones on top of it, though. I think I didn't know beavers incorporated stones. Made me think other people had thrown stones on there hoping to shore it up so they could use it as a bridge too. So it's the beaver's fault. Damn it. I'm pretty sure if you bent over to collect water here, a gator would just snatch your ass and drag you in. Yeah, sure, there's no gators in Georgia. Why not? They got feet, they can walk. I did it. The green tunnel is starting. I 
have this tiny water crossing to do. I could go down the way, but, you know, fight my way through this stuff. Rock hop across and fight my way back. But I'm just going to take off my shoes. I'm going to soak my feet. This is my last water source, so I figure I'll grab some here, filter a bit, then carry a bit out with me so I have coffee in the morning. I guess I don't need that much because... I don't have any oats to cook, just I only have, I have one spoonful left of coffee. I'm going to be able to make some weak-ass coffee, but it will be coffee nonetheless. I will squeeze those grounds and get every last drop of goodness out of them. Definitely wearing flip-flops as I cross this. Lord knows how many fish hooks or, you know, broken glass or whatnot's in there. So, better be safe than sorry. I need to see, like, an appliance. You know, people dump their garbage here. There's a bunch of turkeys up on the hill. Couldn't tell what they were at first. I was just hearing them moving around. And there's one. I can see a handful of them. Okay, so it's only like six miles to town. So I've got all my water. I'm just going to kind of keep an eye out for a place to camp. After a certain point, I hit the road, and I'm assuming it's private property on both sides of the road. But I want to get about as close as I can before I set up camp. There's a crap ton of turkeys out here. They're all running away right now. There's got to be, I don't know, at least a dozen or more. I was just looking at the ground, how torn up looking it looks. And I was like, this looks like when my chickens tear shit up. But it's, you know, it's going on forever. The trail's covered and stuff because they're, you know, digging around looking for spiders and crickets and whatnot. And I was like, there's no way turkeys are doing all this. And I come around a corner and there's like 15 of them or so. A whole gang. It was a whole gang. They could have taken me if they wanted to, but they chose to flee instead. I don't believe that's the other gang that just passed me, because they were going that way already, so this, this is definitely a separate one. These woods are crawling with them. No, that's not the road I walk on. No, I'm pretty sure I can pass this road. It's like there's no way I'm that far already. He's just tearing everything up. Can't be easy getting fat out here, though. There's not much. Big round. I bet they're eating those lizards, too. Turkeys are probably a lot like chickens. They'll eat anything. If they can catch it, they'll eat it. That's a nice little bridge. There's not many bridges you see that have a curve in them. wire for traction. For whatever reason, this is named Santa Claus Road. Don't know why. I was looking for a nice flat spot, but so far I have not found one that isn't the trail. And oh, I've slept on the trail many times before, and I will again. I'm hoping to find something nice before. I resort to that. Nice-ish. Oh, red blazes. Potts Hollow Trailhead. Oh. Mine is this way. My shadow is getting a little too long. It just hasn't been anywhere flat to lay down at. Only I owned a hammock. 
someday. But if I keep walking, I'm going to be in town. There's a park on the edge of town. <clears throat> but, you know, I don't want to get that cop knock at 2 in the morning. I don't know how they knock on a tarp, but it's probably not pleasant. Something will happen soon. I'll find that spot. Ah, like, oh, there it is. Or I might just sleep on the trail. There is always that option. But I saw bicycle tracks. And I don't want to get ran over by a bicycle. I don't know how late people ride their bikes through here. What's left of a hunter's blind? And I see that the lock is still on it. You know, so I don't want anybody to steal it. Safe. The trail is right down there somewhere. I found what I'm guessing was a fire break. Or maybe an old road. I don't know. Uh, but, oh, yeah, there's a gate up there, so it's probably a road. Oh, uh, but that's where I shrung my tarp. A little bit higher than last time. I got a little bit off the ground just so I could sit up in it. Not bad. Hope there's not ticks in this yet. I know there will be, but you know, I'm hoping they're still dormant because it's cold. Right, I'm going to cook some dinner and probably crash the hell out because I am beat. I really I need a day off tomorrow. I feel like it's what I had last night. Chicken fried rice, bag of chicken, and what I have left of my ramen. And a little bit of flour. Not bad. I have service here, so I get to go and answer uh, you know, comments and stuff. I only have three videos up, so I don't have a whole lot of comments going. But, you know, I don't like to get all behind on those, so. I'm going to see. The service is very limited, so I can't really do much anyway. Wait for water to boil. Might as well be doing something. I heard something laugh scream eh, combination like a banshee could have been a bird could have been a human but it was probably a banshee i don't think they exist in this part of the world aren't those like irish or scottish or something i don't know but it was a freaking cackle man He's good. Oh, yeah. I'm freaking hungry, man. I was like, what is making so much racket out there? That is my first living armadillo. Where'd you go? I could just hear somebody fucking around in the leaves, man. I'm like, what is that? It sounds big. It's a freaking armadillo. <laughs> I was expecting something much larger. Gotta watch out though, they, they carry leprosy.